Hi there, it's Justin from Brickwright again. Welcome to uh, a van vlog. I haven't done one for ages and ages and ages of van vlog where we just talk different subjects and uh, you guys can leave them in the comments and uh, we can interact with each other to see what you think. So this one is all about vans. So people who watch the channel, they'll all know that I've uh, I've called my van Selwyn. It's an Iveco daily. It's a 61 plate, so 2011, 2.2 uh, engine um and it's got 106,000 miles on the clock and i'm esti estimating it's probably worth around about i don't know three and a half four grand in today's market something like that it's got full service history so where am i going with this i'm thinking and i have been thinking over the last couple of years about purchasing a new vehicle a new works van i think it's important um you know pulling outside people's houses that your van is clean and your, your, your van's tidy and it represents you and what you stand for as a person and, and as a business so i think it's very very important so selwyn is starting to show us a few signs and getting a little bit old now engine's fine there's a few little bits of welding they need to do in on it and this that and the other and it's just time to start thinking about a new van so what i've been doing is i've been looking at first of all we'll go through second hand vans and then we'll go through the option of lease and I haven't looked into this an awful lot at all. So I'm looking for help and leave them in the comments below off, off you guys and girls to, uh, to to help me along with this and see what you think. By no means am I going to get rid of it because my mechanic, Ian, has said, look, there's nothing wrong with it. The engine's fine. They're bomb-proof, the IV codes. Leave it alone. Just keep it. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm like that. I don't know what to do. So what I've been looking at, right, is like 2019 plate vans. So... Bear with me on this. I got a little list and and I've looked at them. So these are second hand market, right? Um, so I've I've looked at various different vans and we'll go through what the vans are and they're all round about the same mileage, same age, and this is how much they all cost individually, right? So for transit, again, 2019 model, average mileage is around between sixty thousand and eighty-five thousand max on all these vehicles, right? So for a four transit. You're looking at seventeen thousand two hundred and fifty pounds plus that. Iveco Daily sixteen grand. Peugeot Boxster, um, you're looking at like fourteen thousand pounds. Citroen Relay, you're looking at eleven thousand eight hundred pounds. Uh, Mercedes Sprinter, twenty thousand two hundred pounds. Nissan Interstar, which I think is changed names now. You'd have to look into that. So the Nissan is um, fifteen thousand two hundred, and then you've got a Vauxhall Navarro. 15,900, uh, sorry, 15,090, and then you've got a Renault Master, that's weighing in at 15,000 pounds, exactly. All these are inclusive of, you've got to put the VAT on top, all right? So, looking at that, the cheapest is a Citroen Relay, 11,800, and obviously the most expensive, because I know they're, you know, they're, they're the, the cracking vans, isn't they, the, uh, the Sprinter, 20,200. So there's not far off like nine grand difference between the two vans for the same price. I'm not going up and down the motorway. I'm not sat in the van. I don't need like refinement and comfort. I just need something that I can put a bloody ton of sand and stuff in the back. Something that'll take about around about 1300 kilograms. So 1.3 tons in, in the back. Something I can stand up in. Something I can get my coats, my gear in, my tools and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I can get the two lads in the front to sit next to me because that's the crew we got. So I'm looking at that and I'm thinking all those vans are too expensive. <laughs> when I bought Selwyn, it must have been about seven years ago, something like that. Um, it had 65,000 miles on the clock then, full service history. It was immaculate. It wasn't, for the van, it was, you know, it was immaculate. I searched and searched and searched. And uh, I think I paid about nine grand for it. Them days is long gone, isn't it? They're gone those days. So now we're into these crazy times where you're paying stupid, like Ford Transit, 17,250, 19 plates, you know, 65,000 miles. I mean, it's ridiculous, isn't it? As a small business, me, you, everybody has got to pay for your tools. Your tools include your van. Um, you got to, you know, you, you put in the prices out there to lay your porcelain or build your extension or whatever. And then your van price has got to come out and be taken care of within your business costs, uh, amongst all your insurances, your you know everything, your 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 school uniform you wear to school for your work, um, 
I can't even afford a haircut at the moment. Look at the state of me. But um, no, you, you get the drift of it. So that's the that's the private sector. That's the second hand market that I'm looking into. Um, and then I thought, well, I'll, hang on a minute. We look at the 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 lease option. So what I've done, I've just without boring you, I've just priced up four vans, right? And I've had a little look. So first of them, and they're with Vanorama or something like that. I think it's called on online. You'll see it. So four transit based over a five year period. Uh, running at 8,000 miles a year, which is basically what we do. We probably do about 6,000 miles a year, but I'll put in eight just in case. Um, to 8,000 miles a year, an upfront payment of £5,471 equates to, for a Ford, excuse me, Ford Transit, £455.92 per month, five years, right? The payload, the all-important payload for me, being a bricklayer and putting bricks and blocks and all kinds of crap in the back of the van, the Ford Transit comes out as 1,307 kilograms, which is 1.37 tonnes, right? Vauxhall, who's pulling up outside me? Vauxhall Mavano, Vauxhall Mavano, same again, all the same, five years, 8K miles, five-year period, up front, £3,682. It's got a payload of 1,312 kilograms, which is slightly better than the Ford Transit. And then you pay £306.88p. Ford Transit was 455 Mavano, or whatever it's bloody called, £306 uh, per calendar month, right? So it's quite a lot cheaper. It's got a little bit extra payload on it. Um, and my upfront payment on that would be a hell of a lot of difference between Ford Transit and, and the Vauxhall. So over to the Renault and the Citroen Relay now, right? So Re Renault Master, same, five years, 8K. Upfront payment, £4,354.60p. Payload, 1,454 kilograms. So that's by far the biggest payload so far of all out of the, the three vans I'm looking at. So that's that's not far off 1.5 tonnes, that is. So that's, that's impressive. And then the total cost to, per month to purchase that is £362.90. So that's the Renault Master. Lastly, the Citroen Relay, which came out the cheapest when I was looking at buying privately. So it'd be interesting to see what this comes out at. So Citroen Relay, again, five years, 8K miles, upfront payment, 4030 with a payload of 1495 so that's the biggest payload out of all the vehicles that I'm looking at. And I know, right, that you can swap and you can change this and you get the double wheelbase and you can... But I'm just looking at this just to make a video and just to have a comparison. And I've tried to keep the vans, you know, exactly the same, whether they're the, the wheelbase, the height of the roof and all that. So I've tried to keep that all pretty much the same. So it's on an even playing field. And the price for that one, the Citroen Relay, is £335.89p. So straight away, I'm thinking Ford Transit. I've driven a Ford Transit, and they're they're all right. I mean, what you'll get the turning circle on the Iveco daily is absolutely phenomenal. You'll turn Selwyn around on a sixpence. Uh, it's absolutely amazing this van, the turning circle, and I don't think any other van matches it. And it's on the old school like truck base at the back, so it's basically a truck on the back with a, a you know the the panel van put on top. And I'm not sure if any vehicle. And it's rear wheel drive. I'm not sure if any vehicle um, does the same as the Iveco. So that's why I bought it originally for its robustness. So I'm still looking for something similar with a being robust. So straight away, Trans is out the, out the back. And the one I had on, on um, hire, um, the back doors didn't open, wrap around. So that it didn't open and then wrap around the panel and come onto itself and, and like clip on. So quite often we're shoveling stuff in and out the back of the van. The back doors are open for quite a long amount of time and you, the last thing you want is you don't want the wind blowing it and smacking somebody in the eye or something with the door or the door flying off into another car so yeah the transit for me i can't afford to pay that i don't want to pay it it's got the least amount of payload transit nah not for me um the Vauxhall mavana um that's interesting i think the Vauxhall mavana the citroen really and the peugeot boxster um, maybe another one as well all the same van pretty much all come 
with the same running gear maybe have slightly different engines and stuff but basically they're all the same bloody van and the van's old it's been going for donkey's years and i don't think they've made massive amounts of inroads in terms of development and and you know put a new kit on it and stuff like that but still i mean you can't you can't ignore that can you with oxal mavana 306 pound 88 three three thousand six hundred and eighty two up front payload is a little bit on the low side but fine for me you know i'm normally putting in a, a you know a 10 1.2 tons 1.3 maximum so that would that would that would suit me down to the ground the master i think renault would be around for years haven't they good engines good all-round running gear good vans massive payload um really really good so i i, I would consider that 362 pound a month 4354 up front i definitely consider the uh the renault master um and then the citroen now got a bit of a thing about citroen um don't know i've always thought not to buy a citroen because they're not the best if i gonna be honest with you but then you know people could disagree with me and you can't not look at it because of the price on the private sector on the private market and the competitiveness of how much this is costing on the lease market, you, you can't ignore it, can you? And it's just pretty much the same as a Mavana anyway. So that's £335.89 a month, £4,030 up front, with the biggest payload of £1,495. How the hell can I ignore a Citroen, really? I cannot, can I? There's loads of them about. All these vans are pretty much of a muchness. So there we are. What what would you do? So I'm I'm basically a one man band. There's me and the two lads and a van, and 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 that's it. I haven't got a fleet. I'm not looking to um, you know, to buy a fleet of vehicles. I'm just looking to buy one vehicle. But when I buy it, it's got to hit the ground running. It's got to do what I want it to do. It's going to get murky in the front as Selwyn is right now. It's going to get beaten and bruised a little bit. Although I do look after it and I do service them and I do clean them and I do polish them and I do paint the wheels and all that kind of stuff to make it look to make it look presentable for our for us and our clients. I've got a pride in ourselves. Um so I think the you know what where, where do I go with it? Do I invest and get rid of Selwyn now and, and, and do that? What, have you been in the similar situation? In your small business where you're thinking i need to get a new van because the prices have gone up i'm in a bit of a hole here wow these things are costing a bloody fortune is there another way out out of it i mean i've only started looking into this yesterday so you know the private vans and the lease vans is there a, a, a buy to a buy to lease or so you can buy it at the end or so i don't bloody know you'll have to tell me leave me in the comments below let me know what van you've got let me know your experience of the van you've got, whether you think it's a good one or whether you think it's it's not a good one. Everyone's probably going to jump at me and say, get a sprinter, you won't look back. But I don't want a bloody sprinter. I'm not going up and down to Leeds every day. I'm not on the outside um, lane of the M4, blasting up and down there, wanting speed, refinement and all the rest of it. I just want something that's reliable, something that's going to start in the bloody morning, get me and the lads back and forth sight, whack 1.3 tons in the back of it, park it outside in the night, lock it all up and, and shut the door, and that's it. And quite often, we're sat outside the the, the client's uh, property and the van don't move all day. It just gets us there and home and a couple of materials in between, and, and that's about it. So, Sprinter, don't need it. So, don't mention a Sprinter to me because I'm too skinned and I'm bloody paying for one of them. <laughs> Anyway, leave me in the comments below. What van do you drive? How reliable do you find it? Have you had a lease deal? What do you think about the lease deal? What's the ins and outs of it? Have you been caught out with it? Is it a good deal for you? If you bought something that's private, has the van gone wrong? Is the van reliable you've bought? You know, if you stuck to the same vans like I have with the IV, I've had two IVCOs over and over and over and over again because they're reliable. All these things and more, whatever you think of, leave them in the comments below and um It'd be really, really interesting for you to help me and, and to see what you uh, what you lads got to say. And if there's any deals out there or any companies out there, lease-wise, that you think might be of interest to me that I haven't cottoned on to, that's a better deal than this, or if, if, and you've used them before and you think they're good, leave them in the comments below. So, uh, yeah, for now, it's me and old trusty old Selwyn. Um, and hopefully, he keeps on going for a little longer. So there we are interesting video 
see you soon more videos to come hopefully next sunday we've been a little bit on stop because of the snow on site uh, for those of you who watch the normal video so can't do a video this week this is why i'm putting this one on so back to normal next week see you then have a lovely weekend take care of yourselves and your family bye bye